how do you think what makes you think these are the questions that I'm asking you and I know that most of you don't know the answer indeed there's a formula to thinking and I will give you that formula I am also let me make this very uh, clear to you that I'm also on blog talk radio on Fridays uh, the information is going to come up that you will see uh, there's a calling number that you can use also to contact me the thing I talk about is education is the real education that's the topic of my uh, radio show so come in there and learn about the formulas for thinking but precisely what I'm going to talk about here is to introduce you to the fact that uh, your brain uh, with its memories of course left and right brains uh, has the ability to uh, keep you in a very much highly focused thinking manner but the way it does it is through uh, memory lobes uh, and also memory layers now most of you although you may be very highly educated these words are very strange to you and this is why I have the radio program so you can tune in and then learn a lot about memory how the memory functions now once you understand how me your memory functions then you will be in a better position to help your child if you're a teacher you will become a more effective teacher you will find ways ways to communicate with the, with the child with the student uh, you're a parent you also find ways to communicate with, with your child this is the essence of uh, thinking thinking is a process of communication but you must know how you communicate what makes you communicate uh, the, the, as the things that line together that make you communicate I'm giving you hints right now regarding how you communicate in, in, in a thinking process thinking is not reaction when you react you are being aggressive you are you are reacting to something that is maybe real or may not be real that's not thinking so tune in here in this particular video we have our uh, Dogon times table platform uh, which as you see is made up of lines uh, they are linear lines uh, because we want you to be able to clearly understand uh, what the concept is but uh, we are now going to show the multiplication process where the numbers that just uh, flowed over there that you saw are the multipliers and the ones on the left hand side are the multiplicants these numbers are very significant in terms of understanding uh, memory memory lobes and memory subloads. Uh, memory lobes are where uh, items are stored and then uh, the sublobes uh, where the uh, other these uh, items associated with the lobe is stored. In other words you have uh, a layer and then that particular layer has uh, the different memory lobes. So as we do the multiplication uh, for instance here we say 2 times 1 uh, the answer is 2 2 is going to go and get stored in the area that is identified as, as 2 but it's going to be stored in memory uh, uh, layer 1 but uh, sublobe uh, memory 2 and then after that uh, we are going to see uh, other numbers emerge that are also going to be stored in their uh, particular locations so the whole process of learning uh, in order to eliminate memorization is to have an, underst an understanding as to where you are going to store the, th the things that you experience every day so it's, this is not just for learning multiplication it is also for you the adult to be able to clearly focus on something because it is your focus that's actually going to direct where you're going to store each item in your memory if you have a poor focus you are not going to be able to remember where you you ide you store things in your uh, memory memory layer and memory lobe and sub lobes. So you've got to be able to focus on something, and then once you focus on it, then your concentration power will uh, direct what you have focused on to a particular memory. And this is what happens. So right here we have uh, we now have three times one. So where is the answer going to be stored? So 3 times 1 is 3. So where is 3 going to be stored? I'm sure your, your child will be able to answer the, that question. Uh, he or she will simply say, where well, dad or mom, uh, 3 is going to be stored under 3. And uh, uh, the child is right. And then, then you ask, well, what layer of memory? Then the child will say, well, memory layer 1. That's where 3 is going to be stored. So now watch. Exactly. So your child is right. So uh, the number 3 will be stored uh, under lobe 3 in memory layer 1. 
so your child is beginning to have understanding as to how his memory works uh, we are going to actually eventually fill up all the spaces but we just want you to know that uh, the process we are involved in here that is that any number that you times by one the number always come to be itself so two times one is two three times one is three and then twelve times one is twelve so now ask your child well, where is twelve going to be stored so your child is going to say well mom dad twelve is going to be stored right in under twelve uh, mem memory stop uh, 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 lobe 12 in memory layer 1 and exactly that's why it's here we continue with the process where we have our uh, platform and we have our numbers filled up again to identify our memory layer and memory lobes here uh, the multiplier is the memory lobe and the multiplicant is the memory layer uh, it goes from 1 to 12 of course it, there is just an infinite infinite number of uh, layers and the infinite number of lobes so here we go through the process 2 times 1 is 2 and then uh, ask your child where the 2 is going to be stored your child will tell you mom dad the 2 is going to be stored in memory layer 1 but in lobe 2 then this is the process that the child is going to begin to utilize in order to avoid memorization you know when you know this you won't memorize then three times one the child will say three and then you say well child where is three going to be stored the child will say okay that mom is going to be stored in memory low three uh, but they are one see now by making this identification process the child is getting familiar with his own brain you want your child to be familiar with his brain now 12 times 1 the child is going to tell you 12 and then where is 12 going to be stored he says 12 so by bringing in the concept of memory layer and memory lobe the learning process becomes easier because the child is now going into his or her own brain the child is beginning to understand how his own memory works so why would he memorize he, al he already knows, he knows everything in his own house, so why would he memorize anything in his, own, in his own house? This is how you teach your child, this is how you work with your child. Now be bold enough, begin to utilize something that you didn't learn in college. Here we are giving this to you, this is African science, learn it. You've been in introduced to simple memory storage functions by the Dogon. So how do you help your child? and even yourself develop develop a more powerful memory you must come to the masters of wisdom yes we at the Dogon are the masters of wisdom why do we declare that because we know the formula for wisdom the formula for wisdom is knowledge over understanding uh, how do you develop how do you gather how do you acquire knowledge to acquire the proper knowledge you must have understanding that is what we teach so your child will not struggle in learning at uh, the times table he won't have to memorize it because of the techniques that we have now you order the CD uh, and then we will give you the rest of the details right now we have exposed a lot of materials that people are going to copy you have all those psychologists out there researchers who are looking for material to claim as their own well I don't mind uh, this is who we are from Kemet we had everything it was stolen from us uh, 